Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye. Amelia's upstairs taking a nap. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today is extremely exciting because I have some new RC tech to show you. And one of my favorite things in RC tech is a good charger. I've showed you guys good chargers in the past before, very highly recommended, and I still like them a lot. But now today we're gonna take a look at some really new technology. This is a big jump that we're seeing in tech in the RC community. This is the brand new Spectrum Smart Technology S2100 AC Smart Charger. They do have a DC charger as well and some things you can put alongside with that. But I personally, I think this appeals more to uh, your average user, everyday user, and I, I think that this is gonna really set the tone for batteries in the RC community now. To really sum up what this charger and battery combo does, if you guys can just think of what like a DJI battery does, how it has a smart discharge and a smart charge rating, you don't really have to think about it very much when you're plugging it in. Now we have that in your RC planes, in your RC trucks and boats and everything, universally. Now all of your batteries can have this smart technology in your RC vehicles and you don't have to think about it nearly as much as you used to. I've had to sit down with my charger and like five different batteries and say here's example one, example two, example three of how to charge your batteries but I don't have to do that anymore. So if you're a total beginner in the RC world and you're just getting into hobby grade stuff, you know more expensive things with a hobby grade transmitter, good quality stuff and you're buying two, three, four, five, six batteries for your things, this is gonna save you tons of just thinking and headache and worry. And I'm gonna talk about why and show you how in this video. I am super excited about this. I kind of want to replace all of my chargers or at least most of my chargers with just like a lineup of these. Right now, this is as good as charging gets in my opinion. This is super cool. So let's take a look at the Spectrum S2100 Smart Charger and talk about why this is so groundbreaking and why you're probably gonna to want to add this to your car as soon as this video is over. In the box, it's a pretty simple setup. You get instructions, you get the charger, and you get the power cord. That's all you get. And then I have a couple of their batteries here, and I also have an EC3 connector. Just a good, you know, nice little reaction battery that we use in Abby's favorite truck. I wanted to compare those for you in just a minute, but that's that's what you get in the box. So just instructions and the charger. And it's a it's really nice setup. I love that the display is backlit. The control wheel is nice. It's kind of like the old iPod touch, or what was that called? The iPod shuffle? And mini. Mini. So it's got this little touch wheel. Nano. 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 <laughs> hear, hear it clicking? I love that. Brings back so many memories. And then you have a button in the middle for your menu controls and stuff. Not that we really need to take a look at that, because if you want to charge a battery, it's as simple as plugging it in. It only goes one way. It knows that there's a battery in there. It knows it's a LiPo, that it's 3S, 11.3 volts. And it, 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 as soon as you plug it in, it knows all of that. All you do is plug the battery in. It only goes one way. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this, but the simple way, you press channel one, because that's in channel one, and you press start. You see I went to this, it tells you all the additional information if you want to know about it. It's telling us the recommended current to charge it. And now it does say, are you sure you want to, do you want to charge this without using the LiPo balance lead? And I'm going to just show you guys this because we can do this. I scrolled up to yes and hit yes. Now, if you so choose to charge at this rate, there is a special new wire in, in the middle here uh, that will balance your battery at 0.1 amps, kind of slow. Okay, it's not recommended that you do it this way, but you totally can just by plugging in your battery with one wire. Now the real recommended way to charge one of these batteries is to plug in your balance lead to the balance port down here. It's really awesome because we don't have one of those big panels coming off of the charger. Make sure they're both plugged in. We hit channel one, enter, and start. And this is that's it. You don't have to put in what amp you want to charge it at. You don't have to put in 2.2 amps. You don't have to say this is a 3S battery. Basically, if you're getting into the hobby and you just don't know a ton about what's going on, you just know I got the right battery for the airplane 
and uh, I wanna fly, this charger will do that for you. It's amazing. So while this charges and we're looking at some of the information on the screen, individual cells, you can see the voltage per cell, which is really cool. Let's talk about the technology that's built into these batteries. So like I said, it's kind of compared to a DJI Phantom battery in a way, in a way that it discharges itself. In this battery, there is a little microchip. And what that does is keeping track of how many charge cycles it's been through. It'll tell you if it's been overcharged if you charge this on another charger. It'll tell you if it's been undercharged. Keeps track of a ton of information that you'd be pretty much impossible to do on your own without that chip. But the best part is, let's say you have two or three of these batteries and you know you're gonna go driving or flying tomorrow and you get to the field and it ends up raining and you only got one of your batteries completed. Well, you've got two batteries that are left, right? They're full charge. Normally you'd have to maybe after you get off work, get home and put, plug it into your uh, hobby grade charger and discharge it. This will automatically do that for you. And by default, all these batteries, all these smart batteries are set at 24 hours. So after it hasn't had any power taken from it after 24 hours or charged after 24 hours, it'll automatically start to discharge. And depending on the size of the battery, between a 1300 milliamp and a 6000 milliamp, it can take anywhere between 12 hours and about six days max to get a full discharge to a storage charge level on your LiPo. That's, that's amazing because you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can now come home and put this in your ammo can, put this in your LiPo storage bag, wherever your safe storage place is for your LiPos and not have to worry about storage charging it, which is just so awesome and groundbreaking. I love that. One other thing that's really exciting about this, and, and a lot of times we worry about backwards compatibility or, um, you know, universal acceptance of will this work on these kind of batteries and will my charger still take these other batteries? The answer to all those kind of questions on this situation is going to be yes. Yes, you can charge these smart batteries, these IC3 connectors. They'll still plug into an EC3 port and you can charge this on your old hobby grade charger and you can take your old hobby grade batteries and charge them on this charger too. So it's completely backwards compatible with whatever batteries you have. So for example, I can take this battery that we've been driving in Abby's Viterra and now plug it into this charger or I can still use it on the old charger. I can take this battery that we're gonna use in our you know, short course trucks and bashing trucks and stuff, and I can charge it on this, or I can charge it on my old charger. I just have to have an EC3 connector. These new connectors are called IC3. From what I understand, they are made of a much more durable plastic that's much more heat resistant. Also, if you have, let's say for example, a Dean's uh, plug or whatever kind of adapter you like to use on your battery and you don't want to switch out all your planes or whatever, you can buy these IC3 or even an EC3 connector to a Dean's and still use them just fine with no worries at all. So they're very backwards compa compatible and they can cross over with no problem. Notice that I'm charging this just one battery at a time too. This is something else I want to mention. You can charge two at a time on this, of course, there's two channels, but if you're charging one at a time, this, this is set up to be basically 200 watt chargers. You're getting 100 watts of power out of each side. But if you go with one battery at a time, you're only charging the one battery, it's gonna pull 80% from one of the channels and use it on the channel that you are using. So you actually have 180 watts of power on one side, roughly 175, 180 watts. Oh, I, I didn't mention this, but there is a USB 5, 5 volt, 2 amp there on the side. So you can charge your GoPro, you can charge your phone. As long as you have power to power this, you have a USB adapter on the side, which is just really awesome. You'll notice too, the cost of the charger, at least in my opinion, is fairly competitive with other chargers that are out there. You know, it's no secret that my favorite charger to date is the Venom Pro Duo and the Venom Pro Quad. The Venom Pro Duo is about $100. This smart charger is about $150. It's new technology, it's doing amazing things, it's taking a lot of the thought out of this for you and a lot of the headache. So I think that that price is pretty justified. It could have been a lot more, I think, for what it's doing. And the batteries should, you should only see, at least for Horizon Hobby batteries compared to other Horizon Hobby batteries, you should only see like a five to 10% cost increase to have that smart chip in your battery. I think that's awesome. They all have a one year warranty too. In my opinion, that's worth it because if you look at a smart DJI kind of battery, those are 
crazy expensive and now you have this worry-free technology in your battery this is going to work on all your trucks that have an ec3 connector on it or if you just convert to an ec3 for that or or the ic3 and I think it could potentially save you a lot of money because let's face it, even me, a person that preaches, you know, battery health and stuff, I still do go out to the field with eight batteries in my container and I get distracted with people talking to me or whatever and I only use three of those batteries. You bring the five home that still have a charge or or you completely discharge those three and you let them sit for a week in your ammo can or your lipo storage pack. And, and you're damaging your batteries, even if it's only for a week. Some of us are more maybe guilty of doing the whole winter of forgetting to storage charge our batteries. Now you don't have to worry about that. As long as it had a charge and you come back with a charge, it's gonna storage charge that for you. I think that's amazing. So for, for those of you that are already in the hobby, this would be an easy conversion to get into. Buy the charger, try it out, see if you like it buy a few batteries, see if you like them, and you don't have to feel like you have to replace your whole army of batteries. Just look at maybe the next battery I buy for this spring coming up. I'm gonna try one of these smart batteries that Nate was talking about, and if I like it, I'll start to replace all my old batteries. I can almost guarantee they'll last longer than all your other batteries you had. That's what I'm gonna do this summer for 2019. This is my now go-to battery system. I am slowly converting. And if you're just getting into the hobby and it's felt a little overwhelming, which trust me, it can, this takes all of the thought out of it for you. Super beginner friendly on a hobby grade level. How often do we have that? Just yesterday I did a drone that took me hours of research and how to program things and get it all connected and bind it all up and uh, had some crazy learning curve stuff going on. This is the most user friendly, approachable, smallest learning curve I've ever seen on a hobby grade charger and that's extremely exciting. I'm, I'm nerding out here but I love this thing. And one final thing that I'll add is it's very important even if you're if you're if you've been in the hobby for 10 years or you're just getting into it I think it's still very important even with the ease of use of these batteries to take the time to educate yourself on how lipos work. What's the difference between a two cell battery and a six cell battery? What does it mean when it's lipo high voltage versus regular lipo versus a nickel metal hydride and a NICAD battery? There's tons of information, free information out there for you, some of which is on our channel to educate yourself on that. I still think you should always use a lipo safety bag when charging. The only reason I didn't show it here is because I was super excited. This just came in the mail. We're sitting right here. I am sitting here showing you and uh, Always use a LiPo bag, always. And uh, come up with a good, safe, creative way to store your LiPos too. Put them in a LiPo bag, also in an ammo can with air vents to uh, keep, you don't wanna cause, you know, create a little bomb there or anything. Just be safe with your LiPos. But this is probably the biggest step to safety and to ease of use that I have ever seen in the RC hobby with universal battery. This is as universal as it gets. I think it's groundbreaking. It's extremely exciting. I think that we'll be doing a follow-up on these probably after a summer of using it, but I highly encourage you guys to look into it. We'll have a link in the description box below if you wanna check it out for yourself. They already have a huge lineup of batteries and sizes and differences. You notice this is a hard shell LiPo for your trucks, and I had a nice 2200 milliamp soft shell 3S LiPo for all my planes. So we've got a perfect truck battery here to start out, a perfect airplane battery. I wanna increase my lineup of these things and just just go nuts with this. I mean, this is so awesome, so exciting. With any type of new technology and new batteries or just even a new product that hits the mainstream, this is just the start of a discussion. I wanna hear from you guys. Uh, if you have a question for this, I might be able to answer it for you in the comment section below. And if I can't, maybe someone else can. So I definitely wanna hear from you guys what you think about this system. If it costs three or four times other batteries and stuff, I'd say, well, you know, that'll never do. But it's competitively priced. I think they're they're hitting the nail on the head. They're doing something right here. This is very exciting. I've always loved DJI Phantom batteries and my Mavic batteries. Why can't all batteries just discharge themselves? Let's finally hear. All of my batteries can do that now after I do a slow conversion. This is so cool. But I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you wanna check this out for yourself, it'll be linked in the description box and I'll have a pinned comment down there for you. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.